Hello guys. So today I am going to be sharing with you guys part two of how to make the crochet bucket hat. In part one, I shared with you guys how to make the granny squares. You're going to need five of these to make the bucket hat. I have my five here. I have three of them completed and in these two I still need to tuck away these loose strings. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that really quickly super simple and easy just to do that i'm going to be using this needle this part you're just going to need the needle scissors and then your yarn and of course your hook i'm going to be using 4.25 so i'm going to grab my needle and one of my squares to do this i'm just going to weave my needle through just kind of like wherever And then I grab my string, put it through the needle, and I just do that. And then I stretch it up a little bit, and there we go. That's all that you do. And now I'm just gonna do it to these two pieces. And now I have four done. I still have one more that I need to do, but I'll do it later. We're going to grab two squares and we're gonna face this part with it. This is the part that I want to be shown on the outside. I'm gonna face them towards each other, just like this. And I'm going to line them up sideways. Grab my string. And like I showed before in my other video, there is another way to do this, but this is just how I do it. And I find it the easiest is just making a knot and making it just enough for my needle. I mean, why did I say needle? I mean my hook. So I put it through my hook and now I'm lining it up and I want it to be perfect. And right here where it kind of starts like right in the corner here, I'm going to the top string here, and then the top string of this one. So now I have both of them on here. Grab my string, and I'm just going to slip stitch them. Just like that. And I'll show you into the next one. I'm gonna show you again. I just slip stitch, and I'm just gonna do this all the way And I'm just connecting. I just want to connect all of the squares together. Just like that. So it'll look like this. So to finish this off, I just grab my scissors. And I just slip stitch that just to close it. And now I have my first one done. So I'm going to connect four together side by side. And then I'm going to have one at the top. So I'm going to connect these four together side by side. And I will come right back. And to do this, you just repeat what I did for this one. So I'll be right back. I have connected all of the four hearts here and then also the one at the top it really doesn't matter where you put this one that's going on the top but now we're going to make it into like a little box kind of so i didn't cut this one off yet just because i'm gonna like continue with it so just to give you kind of like a idea of what is gonna happen next it's gonna look like this and we're basically just gonna connect them all together. And it's gonna be like that. So I have this piece right here. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna be working this way. So I'm gonna go along this way and Kind of bring this closer so you want to line 
everything up with like the holes inside and that will like really help you. So the very first one is gonna go right here. Just like that. And I'm just gonna do this all the way. So I'm at the end now. And now I'm going with this one, I'm going to connect it this way and I'm going to go and continue what I was doing. Okay, so now I've reached to the end. You can now kind of see that it's coming together and we still have to connect two more sides. So I'm going to continue with this one. I'm going to line it up and I'm going to go this way. So let's do that. Okay, so I reached the end and now I'm going to cut the string off. just like that and now I have to do one more here so again I'm just going to make a little knot here just like that and I'm going to line it up how I want it you can see that they're lined up. Okay, so now I'm at the end. I'm going to I'm gonna cut this off. And there we go. Now we are done. We will tuck these away after when I'm done. But you guys kind of already know how to do that. And there we go. We have the top part of our hat. Now we're going to make the rim. So the rim is pretty easy, but it does take like, it does take a minute to do. Make another knot. Just like that. Literally, you can go anywhere. I'm just gonna start right here, but I'm just gonna slip stitch this into there. And we're just gonna do single crochet all around the hat. Okay, so after I have single crocheted all the way around, I am now going, and it should look like this. So I'm now going to slip stitch into the first single crochet that we did. So now it should look like this. And now I'm going to do three chains. So into the next, oops into the next chain into the next chain i'm going to do half a crochet and it should look like this and then into the next chain i'm going to do half a crochet and into the same chain i'm going to do half a crochet so i did three chains into the next one, I did half a crochet into the next one, I did two half crochets into the same chain. Now into the next one, I'm gonna do half a crochet, and into the next one I'm gonna do half a crochet. 
into the next one I'm gonna do half a crochet and into the same chain I'm gonna do another half so if you can see that the pattern is just one half crochets into two, and then into the next one, it's two half crochets into the same chain. So you're just gonna do this all the way around. I'll show you guys a few more times. So I did half a crochet into the next one, half a crochet, and then into the next one, I'm gonna do two, whoops, and then I'm gonna do two half crochets into the same chain and this is going to make that ruffly effect on the rim so into the next one half a crochet next one half a crochet next one half a crochet and into the same chain another half crochet so I'm just gonna continue this all the way around and I will come back right here. Okay, so now I've went all the way around and I am here. So I'm going to insert my hook and I'm going to slip stitch right into there like that. So now we're going to do another row and we're just going to like repeat exactly what we did. So I'm going to make one, two, three chains and right here into the next one. I am going to make a half double crochet. Oops. just like that. I'm doing exactly the same thing as I just was. So I'm going to just repeat what I'm doing into the same chain. I'm going to make two half double crochets. One. Next one is going to be two of them. And I'm just going to do this all the way around and I will come back when I've gone around because this takes quite a bit of time to do every single one. Okay, so um, I just finished into the last one. I'm gonna insert my hook real quick. Okay, that is not right. Okay, whatever. Okay, so I got my hook in and now right at the top where we started, I'm going, oh my gosh, it's not going in. Okay, there we go. I'm going to slip stitch that. I am going to cut this off. I'm just going to go like this and tighten it. You can add more rows if you want. I just make mine with two. But now I'm going to grab my pink and we're going to add in just our last little bit of details. So I'm going to tie this while crocheting. I'm just watching the Vampire Diaries. So it's like crocheting is the perfect thing to do while watching Netflix or just anything like that. Okay, it's there. You just go like anywhere really. And you just like slip stitch that in. Just like that. And into the next one. So we're just gonna be doing single crochets. Sorry, my hair is kind of like in the frame. Cause I'm leaning over. And into the next one, another single crochet. And we're just gonna do this all the way around. kind of got ahead of myself a little bit but I'm just gonna show you what I just did let me undo this real quick here okay so I'm right here I am going to 
so now I'm going to go into the pink. I'm going to slip stitch that and then finish that off. That's all we do. I'm going to tuck this away really quickly and I'll be right back. So now we are done and it's so cute. Look at how cute it is. I'm in love. So I hope that this tutorial, I can't get over how cute these hats are. My favorite thing at the moment. So you can always add more layers or whatever to make the rim longer. But yeah, this is also really stretchy so it can fit a lot of heads. If you're worried if it will be too small, it's really stretchy so don't worry about that. But yeah, that's how you make this hat. I hope you guys like this video. I hope it was easy to follow along. And yeah, if you guys want more tutorials, I am thinking about making a sweater, like a cardigan with the granny squares.